Woke soccer player Megan Rapinoe's career in international play came to a very fitting close at the World Cup. When the U.S. women's national team failed at the World Cup, the worst finish they've ever seen in the round of 16, and Megan Rapinoe choked in front of the entire world on a penalty kick. But of course, they didn't really want to end it there, so they had one more game, a friendly, a meaningless, pointless game against South Africa, played at Soldier Field in Chicago, where Megan Rapinoe was celebrated and a Oh my gosh, she's so incredible. But Megan Rapino couldn't help but disrespect the country one more time. She was getting slammed for that over the past few days. Megan Rapino marks end of U.S. women's national team career by protesting the national anthem. Yes, once again, Megan Rapino disrespects the anthem. But this wasn't the only thing that people are clowning her over right now because apparently she thinks that she's worthy and deserving of a big entrance in her final game. But since there's really no pomp and circumstance surrounding the U.S. women's national team, because again, people just don't care as much as they do about men's soccer, she had to create that artificially herself. Take a look at this. Megan Rapino plays her own entrance music holding a Bluetooth speaker. Megan Rapino gets the shades on, walks with a Bluetooth speaker in her hands to play her own entrance music because no one else will. Watch this. How much more pathetic can you possibly be than Megan Rapino? Your final game, you think, I deserve some entry music for this. And you so you grab your Bluetooth, make sure it's charged up, right? Bring it with you to the stadium, wherever you had it, whether you're staying in a hotel, whatever it may be, and play your own entry music as you walk through the four members of the press that are actually standing there. She's getting destroyed right now. Megan Rapino is the most unlikable person ever. After choking on a penalty kick to lose a World Cup game in August, one would think Megan Rapino's ego would be somewhat humbled, but nah. Uh, Jason Whitlock says, we've normalized self-idolatry. This is swag. She's carrying her own entrance music it's clownish behavior. Megan Rapino playing her own entrance music. Cringe. It's very fitting that Megan Rapino is getting destroyed by nearly everyone in her final outing of her international career because that's really what it's been the past several years. This is a women's national team that has not been known for their play on the field over the past, I would say, four years. They've been known for their activism. They've been known for their SJW antics. They've been bitching about not getting paid enough equal pay even though they don't fucking deserve what the men are getting paid. And in reality, when you break down all the benefits and stuff they get, they were actually getting paid more anyway. They're a complete and total joke, and Megan Rapino is the worst of them all. Finally, this chick's career is over, and everyone once again in her final outing is mocking her and ridiculing her because she deserves it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.